Hi everyone, we're at a house here in Terrell, Texas. We're fixing to put some shutters on, so let me turn you around and let you see. So this is the house. Randy's over there getting the shutters, getting his tool belt on, and we're gonna put them on those four windows. We did a dark walnut to match her fence back there. So, let's get started. Okay, so now we have the shutters laid out. Randy did a Z because that's what we call them. It looks like a, a Z. And you want the Z's to face the the windows. So you got it like that and like that. You can probably tell more that I'm out of the sun now. But you want the, the Z to face the windows. So this person has a trim right here and you can like go towards the window and to cover up that trim but this one sticks out a little bit so it would be a little bit slanted so we're gonna put it right here up to that brick but most of the time you want the shutters to lay right here next to the the window so it looks like if you did close the shutters they would close so if you put them here, it's okay because you don't want, you want it to lay pretty much flat because if there is a little gap, then you have to worry about the the wasp and stuff like that. But with this, we're going to just uh, lay it close. This one over here is a little bit more tricky. We might have to put a board behind there. Right, Randy? Yep. Ask, tell them why we have to do that. Well, because this brick is gapped out twice as far as this brick. So we may have to put like a, a backing board or two back there. To sort of even that yeah, out. Just kind of level it out. But I think one will do it because it's going to go flush with this brick. So that's about the same. Now, does it the shutter come over there or just this part? It's going to cover up this, but this causes it to stick out a little bit. You see what I mean when I put it up there? See if we go flush up against this trim, you've got a, a tilt. A little bit so, of tilt, so I, I bet you you're going to have to have. Let me see. I think one board will be enough. Move that just a little. Let me see if I can get. See if I can do this without dropping it. Now push that in there. And that's gonna stick out too stick far. Stick out then. too far. Yeah. So I think one board will be enough. <laughs> so we're gonna put one board there to even that out. Yeah. Let's do that one last. Okay. So this is what happens when you install shutters. It's you run into some problems. And up there, sometimes that they stick out a whole whole lot. And then you have to bust this down if you want shutters to lay flat. But a lot of customers don't because you really can't tell that much. But some of them really sticks out. See, like that one? It doesn't stick out. That's not too bad. No, not at all. So that's the problem you run into. But we don't break the brick because that's the customer's thing. And we don't want to get into all that. So... All right, we're gonna get started. Okay, so Randy's putting the spacer boards in. To make it where it's more stable. Okay, when you do the shutters, um, it's just like what you just did here, right? Yep. So what size bit is that? It is a one quarter inch bit. One quarter inch. Nut and, driver. And then what do you... Now this is what a is three that? sixteenths inch drill bit, concrete drill bit. Because okay. it's that's just like the, the next fraction size up. 
this then, is because you want the the screw to be bigger than the hole so it grabs okay and stays in there and then what happens when we drill into the mortar <clears throat> we had to put sometimes we had to sometimes, sometimes it grabs i mean sometimes it if it's a weak mortar mortar um then we'll have to put a, a one of those plastic inserts in it's just an expander okay and then drill or screw inside the the insert but you try a to a lot of times go like into this here. mortar here yeah i went into it right here and it's i it's mean it's strong. strong it's a good mortar yeah because it's it an took older me a home second yeah. to drill into it okay okay now they're on got that got this one right here so that one um is fixed there there's a little bit of a lip but there's nothing you can really do because of that brick right there but it's on there and it looks good so that's the shutters here's the front of it so that's it and then you have it. it looks so much prettier and it just brings, I don't know how to describe it, it just brings a lot to a home to have shutters. The rot shutters, not the plastic shutters, or the broken shutters, or the rotted shutters. The cedar shutters that matches the house and just makes everything pretty. There's a lot of people right now that are uh, fixing up their homes and selling, so... This is one cheap way to do it. So like this one, we charge 135 a set. So, and that's um, installing, building, and staining, or painting. So, can't beat that price. All right, thanks y'all, bye.